Hello everyone, I am Bilge Kan and today we will discuss about the uh, RC circuits without a voltage source. So before start, let's read the question. There is a schematic given in here circuit. Uh, there is a 2C capacitor and it's charged with Q0 charge and there is a resistance with the value of R ohm and there is another capacitor which, which is initial I charged and value of C for the capacitance. And at time equals zero, the switch you know uh, closes and this, this circuit starts to connect. And the question asks us find the charge of the capacitor as time goes to infinity. And the second question is find uh, the current of T as shown here uh, as a function of time. And at the C part, find the energy dissipated uh, on the resistor. Uh, yes. Now before start. Uh, I think you can try to solve by own this question. So uh, I suggest you to pause the video. And now we can solve the question. As seen here, uh, we can find the charge of the capacitor as t goes to infinity. Because uh, as t goes to infinity, the voltage of this uh, node, this part, and this part should be cool, and the uh, current should be zero. Therefore, uh, I can use some laws. Uh, first law is the conservation of charge. So uh, Q0 should be equal to, let's call the final charge of this capacitor Q1 and the this capacitor Q2. So the total char charge should be conserved. And the uh, second equation, second equation is uh, the voltage of first capacitor V1 and V2 should be equal and uh, the their uh, relation we can write this for the first capacitor is, you know, for the capacitor uh, Q equals VC. So we can write V equals Q over C as. So therefore, this charge has Q1 charge, this capacitor has Q1 charge, and this uh, capacitance is 2C. And the V2 has uh, Q2 charge, and this capacitance is C. So together solving these uh, equations, we obtain uh, also, you can see in here between here, uh, the ratio of Q1 and Q2 is uh, 2 Q1 over Q2 should be equal to 2. And when I put it here, uh, I can write Q1 is Q2 over 2, uh, sorry, 2 Q2. And I can see Q2 equals uh, Q0 over 3, and Q1 equals 2 Q0 over T, uh, sorry, 3, yes. Now, uh, we found the uh, charge at the t as t goes to infinity. So we can try to solve the part B. Uh, for part B, we should use the uh, Kirchhoff voltage law. Lo this is the contents of the loop's voltage should be equal to zero. So let's start here, and the voltage of this capacitor is. Uh, but uh, just uh, you know, pay attention to something, uh, as because I am trying to find the. Uh, QT and IT as time flows. So I should write the charge of this capacitor as Q0 and uh, uh, let's call this capacitor's charge as time you know, flows as a function of time, QT. And this capacitor's charge should be Q0 minus QT. Now uh, I can write the uh, equations as you know, for Kirchhoff voltage law. For the first one, I should write voltage of this capacitor, first capacitor, and its voltage is, uh, I can write as Q0 minus QT over uh, this uh, voltage, as I write here, uh, Q over C, so therefore this capacitor follows value is 2C, Q0 minus QT over 2C. And then I see a resistor here at the iron, you know, there is a current flowing on R. So uh, it should be I times R minus I times R. We can write for now IT. And minus the second capacitor's voltage, and which is equal to QT over C. So this should be equal to zero, the volt, you know, loop's voltage. And now I can write one more equation in here. Uh, I can express this IT 
as a QT in here, the well, you know, charge of the second capacitor. So I know QT equals uh, so uh, QT equals uh, IT times actually the derivative of QT with respect to time equals I current as a function of time. So I can write uh, dQt over dt for where I see it. And this qt and this qt are the same. So uh, what can I obtain? Is I can put the, this you know uh, term to right hand side and take q0 minus 3 qt over 2c equals dq over dt. And for now I can ignore this function of time. And uh, what I do is, you know, I expand this term with two, and you know, you know, take them in the same denominator. And now I can take an integral of these terms as well. Sorry, that should be also r here. Now I can, you know, take the integral as taking this part in here, the right hand side, q zero minus q minus three q. And I can take dt here, r here, and I can take the integral. So what I obtain is uh, dq over q0 minus 3q equals uh, dt over 2 times r times c. So I can take the integral of these functions uh, with respect to time. Uh, I can take the integral of this term with respect to time since q depends on t and t goes to 0 to t, let's say t prime, ok uh, 0 to t prime, I can write it here yes and when I take the integral of this term I will update ln q0 minus 3q but also I shouldn't you know, uh, forget the uh, coefficient of q because uh, I take integral of with respect to q so what I, will, what I should write is minus 3 in here and this should be equal to t over 2 times rc by the way this should be t equals 0 to t let's say this is t prime now uh, I can see this product in here along q0 minus 3q as t equals 0 at t equals 0 initial charge of the second capacitor is 0 so it should be along q0 uh, minus along q0 yes and at time equals t, this is the function of time, so I can write this ln q0 minus 3q. And I can take the minus 3 in here, equals minus 3t over 2 times rc. Now I can write this as ln q0 minus 3q over q0 uh, as a feature of uh, logarithmic function, natural logarithm. So I can take the e to the power of both sides and I can obtain q0 minus 3q over, over uh, q0 yes, equals e to the power of minus 3t over rc 2 times rc Now I can take the q0 in here and take this term here so q0 minus actually I can you know, take the q0 parenthesis and 1 minus e to the power of minus 3t over 2 times rc equals 3q so I take this here first I should multiply both sides with q0 and I obtain in here q0 times e to the power of minus 3t over 2 times rc so I take it here and take in q0 parenthesis 1 minus e to the power of this term I obtain and in the right hand side I obtain 3 times qt so I found the QT, also I can write this 3 in, uh, I can divide both sides with 3. So uh, in the question, I am, I, we are asked for the find IT. So I can take the derivative of these two terms and I can obtain QT as a function of time and the noun values. So when I take the integral, derivative of this uh, term, I will obtain this one goes to 0 when I take the derivative and this product comes here so I obtain uh, q0 
over 2 times r times c. This come here and these three are cancelled and these minus are cancelled also too. So, uh, but the exponential function should stay as same e to the minus 3t over 2 times rc and we found the uh, current value. So, what we should do more is uh, find energy dissipated on the resistor. So, I can do resistor. So, uh, how can we find this? We can find this uh, on the resistor by the for the uh, st equals 0 to infinity total energy speed. So uh, I can find this in two ways. Uh, I will uh, leave to firstly to you. Uh, you can first calculate this capacity potential energy at the st equals infinity to both capacitors potential energy. And the difference between these energies should be dissipated by this resistor. And I suggest you to uh, do this calculation. You can find an uh, energy of potential energy of uh, capacitor as u equals uh, 1 over 2 q square over c. You can find as well. So you can, you know, the uh, initial q0, this capacitor is charged, and this capacitor is 0. So at the end, we calculate how much you know charge there so you can find calculating here but for now uh, I will directly uh, calculate energy dissipated by the resistor and how can I do this now I use the formula E square times R equals the energy dissipated by the resistor and uh, what is the difference from this formula is here uh, I have uh, current function, but it's dependent on the time. So I should take the integral of this uh, term with t equals zero to infinity, and uh, I will take the i square and multiply it by r. So all I will obtain at the end is q zero square over uh, one r is cancelled, so four r c square. I have. And on the right hand side, I just left with the exponential function e to the minus 3t over 2 times rc dt. So when I take the integral of this function, you know, uh, I will obtain a coefficient 2 times r times c, uh, yes, and 2 times r times c over 3 times, uh, also I will obtain one more uh, quantity, the, sorry minus sign and this function is as well so uh, e to the minus 3t over 2 times rc as t goes to 0 to infinity you can see in here so what I will obtain is these r and c's are cancelled so actually this uh, sorry not these are cancelled but these rc cancels this rc so I will obtain I will leave it this 2 times c uh, coefficient. So uh, actually, I will obtain 2 times, sorry, q0 square over um, this 2 is cancelled, 3 times 2 is 6, 6c, and am I right? Yes. Then I should uh, calculate e to the power of uh, minus e to the power of also this minus sign I take it here e to the minus uh, minus 3t over 2 times rc so at t equals 0 the exponential function becomes 1 so minus 1 and t goes to infinity this exponential you know function with the power of minus sign so e to the power of minus infinity is 0 because this is the exponential decay and also you can calculate uh, because you know 1 over e to the power of infinity so this is so large number and this is converts to 0 therefore I left with this uh, term and my sign the inside so I will then directly this equation as well so let me see if I do any mistake you know for the numbers Mm, I guess not. Okay. And I 
hope this video will be beneficial for you. And so, take care. And if you have any questions, leave a comment.